Phillies and the Reds will begin in a rain delay. Now this game was scheduled for 105. They moved it to 405. The hope was is that the storm would be out of here by the time 405 hit. It's windy and rainy. Everybody needs a little electricity today to stay warm because it is chilly here at the ballpark. But hopefully we'll have Phillies baseball at some point in the next couple of hours. It's going to be about seven hours later than what it was supposed to be going into yesterday's ball game. But of course we told you last night that the uh, game time had been moved to 405 thinking Mother Nature would cooperate somewhat. Mother Nature did not cooperate and obviously the rain is now out of the area. At least our fingers are crossed that the rain's out of the area and we'll be able to get baseball played without any inter interruption for the remainder of tonight's game. Wheeler making his se uh, second start of the year. He went six scoreless innings in his first outing. Had the lead 2 nothing. What he left but the Phillies could not hang on. One and two on Benson and a pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Encarnacion Strand is the batter. Line drive, one hopper. Flag down by Stott from his knees to second for one over to first. Not in time. So they do get the lead runner. I think that ball just slipped out of Trey Turner's hand. Yeah, I don't think he ever had a good grip on it. So here's Jamer Candelario. Wheeler's pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Couple of K's in the inning for Zach Wheeler. A long wait, but we're underway. Frankie Montas turned two as a red. Uh, what a great start to the season for Frankie Montas. Six innings of four hit baseball. Grounded sharply to first, right into the breadbasket of CES. One down. Now Trey Turner stands in. Popped him up. Candelario takes command. And that win could make some pop flies interesting. Two down. And that'll bring up Bryce Harper. Big, big night last night for Harper. His second ever three home run game. There's a squibber up the third baseline. Candelario makes the play. Not in time. Three home runs and an infield hit. Game of baseball could be ironic. JT Real Muto stands in. Gets the chase on the split. So Montas works around the infield knock. Here's Ellie De La Cruz. Swing and a miss. 94 up in the zone. Three strikeouts. Spencer Steer, who hit the grand slam in extra innings on Monday to give the Reds a win in the series opener. Wheeler winds. And a 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with sinker there. And man, that thing dove off the table. Did. Back to back strikeouts. That's four already for Wheeler. They shade him with a tilted infield to pull. Candelario just off the grass. Popped him up. Fighting that wind. India coming on. Almost overran it. Man, yeah. that is a challenging wind. I'll tell you, I was watching the flight of the ball the entire time instead of the player. And you can see the wind actually take that ball and change its trajectory. This feels like Wrigley East right now. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Popped up again, right side. And Carnacion Strand is over. Now Stevenson loops around. He dropped it. He tried to make the basket catch, and that's another one. I mean, Encarnacion Strand, I think, thought he was going to catch that in the opening day logo, which is about halfway between home plate and first base. Yeah, and I think, I think Stevenson thought that the ball was going to Encarnacion Strand as well. Anything to the right of second base is going to dance. Tyler Stevenson, 243 hitter last year with 13 home runs. Oh, he went. Yeah, he did. Home plate umpire doesn't need help. He needed to think about it a little bit, but he got the strikeout. It's number five for Zach. Runners move to second and third base. And here's Christian Encarnacion Strand. Rip to left field. Off the base of the wall. Martini scores. India scores. Throw to second offline. A standing two run double. Belted by Encarnacion Strand. A 2 0 Reds lead. Good compact swing on a fastball on the inner part of the plate. 1 0 pitch. Swing and a high fly center field straight away. Not deep. Rojas waiting on it. He'll make the catch. And the side is retired. But the Reds get on the board first. Two runs, one hit. With Merrifield again at the plate. Struck him out. Challenge fastball. He is not afraid of attacking a hitter with his fastball. And what a way. Rojas is coming up. The one two. And a swing and a dribbler towards third. Tough play. And there won't be one at first. And there's the first hit of the season for Johan Rojas. One two is in there. Strike three. Sneak it right on by. Trey Turner is foul popped to third. In the air to left. Steer over. Inning over. 2-2. Two, two. Strike three called. Fastball got him looking. 
Please. Two outs. And here comes Martini. We are ready. The one two. Swing and a miss. He got it. Couple more strikeouts in the inning for Wheeler. That's now seven on the night. Bryson Stott popped out of the second baseman his first time up. He's up with nobody on and two outs. Opposite way. Steer reads it cleanly. One, two, three for Frankie Montas. We go to inning number five tonight, and Tyler Stevenson will lead off. The two two pitch. Breaking ball. Strike three calls. Eight strikeouts for Zach. And with one out, Jonathan India is coming up. And a strike three called right down the chute. Nine K's for Zach. That is perfection right there. I mean, that ball looked like a foot outside. Now look at the movement back over the middle. Jonathan India, no question. Rojas snapped his 0 for 13, an infield hit to third his first time. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He just blew a heater right on by him and down on strikes is Johan Rojas. The inning is over. Here's Jake Fraley and he hits one deep to right. Castellanos going back and that one is off the wall and it caroms away and it's going to be Marsh to pick it up on the carom. In at second with a double is Fraley. Ellie De La Cruz bats now. Runner at second, two outs. De La Cruz has struck out twice. De La Cruz to right. That is down base hit. Windmill on for Fraley. He scores. De La Cruz up to second. A standing ribby double. The Reds have a 3 0 lead. De La Cruz has an 11 game hit streak going back to last year. Swing and a miss. He got him. 10 strikeouts for the 22nd time in Zach Wheeler's career. Kyle Schwarber leads off for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber lines one deep down the right field line toward the pole. It's gone. That one went out of the ballpark in a second. A solo home run. The Phils are on the board. It's a 3-1 game. I feel bad for the gentleman who tried to catch that ball in right field because I think that's going to leave a mark. Run toss into his windup and now the 0-2. Swing and a foul tip. Stevenson holds on to strike three. One away in the Phillies sixth. Now the tying runs on at first. And I would imagine that Nick Castellanos will be the final batter that Frankie Montas will face here tonight. Way in, he walked him, bases loaded. Three straight men have reached with two outs, and here comes David Bell to lift Montas. Justin Wilson out of the bullpen with the bases loaded. He's got left-hander Brandon Marsh at the plate. Popped up, Candelario. Foul ground makes the play. So Wilson leaves him loaded. Reds maintain a two run edge. Here's Spencer Steer. All the Reds hits today have gone for extra bases. Steer to right, Castellanos back deep in the corner, and that hits track. Steer up to second. He goes for three. Relay to third. Offline and late. Steer triples into the corner, and that's a big extra bag with one out. Nick Martini will stand in. The Reds will run for Steer at third base with Bubba Thompson. That is launched over short base hit. Thompson scores. Nick Martini with a big add on Ribby. And it's a 4-1 edge in the ninth. As Alexis Diaz came onto the field before he got to the mound, he was stopped and examined by the umpires. A lengthy examination. He just saw them huddle up. David Bell came out for the conversation. I don't know what they found. If anything, they're going to allow him to pitch. Well, the one umpire said that I had something there. And uh, when all the other umpires uh, looked at it, they were like, hey, it's, uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. Go let him pitch. So after that, I've, they just let me pitch afterwards. I, I think he was looking for something. But I mean, the other umpire said that I didn't have anything that was too too crazy. So Bohm is aboard with a two out single, excuse me, Merrifield, and that brings up Alec Bohm. To right. Handled by Benson on the track. The Reds take the rubber match and the series. They top the Phillies four to one.